listen, I'm here to testify, and I'm here to tell the truth. And I told the truth. I apologized on Joe Rogan four years ago. Talk show host Alex Jones rails against the media on his show, but is happy to talk outside of the courthouse in Waterbury, Connecticut, where a jury will determine how much he will pay in damages to the families of children killed at Sandy Hook. I'm Anjanette Levy, and welcome to Law & Crime's Sidebar Podcast. Alex Jones made his first appearance outside of that courthouse in Waterbury, Connecticut, on Tuesday. And you have to keep in mind, this is about 20 miles away from where 20 children and six adults were killed at Sandy Hook Elementary School back in 2012. It was a horrific, horrific school shooting. Judge Barbara Bellis has already found Jones liable for defamation by default in this case. Now Jones is giving press conferences outside of the courthouse and saying he will tell the truth when he testifies. I will not perjure myself under the orders of a judge. This has never before been done in U.S. history. It's a struggle session right out of communist China or South Africa. This is serious tyranny. Regardless of what you think about me or how the media has twisted what I said over the years, I've apologized for past things I said that hurt people's feelings. But I wasn't the first person to question Sandy Hook, and I apologized years ago. They have misrepresented what I've said and done. There is a whole industry of lawyers around these families that have sued Remington and won $73 million and won all these other lawsuits, and they simply now are not just coming for the Second Amendment, but the First Amendment. This is a travesty of justice, and this judge is a tyrant. This judge is ordering me to say that I'm guilty and to say that I'm a liar. None of that's true. I was not wrong about Sandy Hook on purpose. I questioned it, just like Jesse Smollett, just like WMDs in Iraq, just like Gulf of Tonkin. There have been a lot of staged events in history, like WMDs in Iraq, and I question every major event that we see. And so I'm being put in an impossible position inside of this courthouse where I'm being ordered to say I'm guilty. Has anybody ever heard of someone being ordered to say they're guilty? Even in a criminal trial where they found somebody with dead bodies, if the guilty person wants to get up and say they're innocent, they're allowed to, okay? But I'm being told I must say I'm guilty because they've already defaulted me and say I'm guilty. This is the murder of American justice. This is extremely dangerous, and this is the judicial system on trial. They are using these families for this. They've misrepresented what I've said and done, and they have continued to use my name to fundraise for their gun control organizations. Now they're openly launching an anti-free speech operation. So I want to thank you all for being here. Do you have any questions? Now, we all know that a jury in Texas already awarded millions and millions and millions of dollars to some of the Sandy Hook families for a lawsuit there. Uh, in that circumstance, Jones was also found liable by default of defamation. Support for Law & Crime Sidebar is brought to you by Manscaped. They are the absolute best in below-the-waist grooming. And let's face it. Everybody likes to be well-groomed, and no one wants to have too much hair in certain places or anywhere for that matter, and Manscaped will help you with that. The Performance Package 4.0 by Manscaped is here, and people are absolutely obsessed with it. People talk to me about it all the time. And when you order yours and open it, you will find the Lawnmower 4.0 Trimmer, the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, Crop Preserver Deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold all of it. Best of all, the Lawnmower 4.0 is waterproof, get that, and it has a 4,000K LED light, so you can get that precise shave and not leave hair all over the sink or in the shower. More than 5 million men around the world trust Manscaped to take care of all of their grooming needs. Get 20% off when you enter the code SIDEBAR on manscaped.com. Again, that's 20% off when you log on to manscaped.com and enter the code SIDEBAR. What are you waiting for? Everybody's talking about it. And Jones actually seemed a little bit put off by the fact that he wasn't testifying on Tuesday. And he said that he you know, has admitted now that he believes Sandy Hook was real, but that he believed it was staged at first. I'm here to testify. I'm here to do what needs to be done. This is now will be the second time they've changed when they said they said they'll let us know later when or if they want us here. So, Mr. so Jones, you're not testifying today? No, I'm not testifying today. Are you, are you staying in the state? Are you, are you staying in the state? I'm obviously going to have to sit here until the trial's over because they keep jerking me around, and that's fine. It, it, it's just that I'm here to testify, and I'm here to tell the truth. And I told the truth. I apologized on Joe Rogan four years ago 
episode 1255 for 30 minutes before I was ever sued. So, Mr. Jones, Hold on, just let me add one more thing. I don't want to be the Sandy Hook man, okay? It was a very small part of whatever covered and did. And I followed a lot of the stuff being reported by 4chan that tried to be wrong. I believe the children died. I've said that over and over again. In my last trial in Texas, when I apologized to the parents and said, I believe your children died, AP and others ran the headline, for the first time ever, Alex Jones says it happened and apologized. That's a lie. I've been apologizing for six years, four years ago on Joe Rogan, three years ago on Steven Crowder. There's hundreds of apologies. But now when I go on shows, they say, do you want to apologize? I go, no. I've apologized over 100 times. I'm not the guy that started questioning Sandy Hook. I did for a while believe it might have been staged. I thought Jesse Smollett was staged. Turned out I was right. I thought WMDs in Iraq were staged. Turned out I was right. But I did not premeditatedly create this whole story to, quote, make money. It's hurt me over the last 10 years. I had employees basically quit and stuff over it 10 years ago or, 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 or 8 years ago is when I first started questioning it for a few years. And so I'm not the Sandy Hook guy. Hey there, everybody. Jesse Weber here from Sidebar. I want to talk to you about our next episode of Prime Crime. It's all about the death of 12-year-old Johanna Ortega, who was found brutally murdered inside of her home. What starts with a chilling 911 phone call moves into police questioning an interesting suspect, Johanna's neighbor, Roy Coons Jr. My parents murdered into the murder. I guess it's one of those things you just have to be put yourself in that situation to find out. But is he the killer or someone else? Tune into Prime Crime on Friday, September 23rd at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Law and Crime Network. Jones stood outside of this courthouse and said that he believes his words are covered by the First Amendment. And he said that there's more to this lawsuit and the other suit than meets the eye. I have apologized over and over again, and, I, and I've tried to, 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 to get these people off my back. And not the families, but the lawyers. And it's the same lawyers now going after other people's free speech. And they've said the case they're running against me, they plan on using against other people's free speech as well. They have an unfair trade practices suit in here, claiming that, 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 that because I sell supplements, it has something to do with stories I report. They have no connection to each other. So, so this is all a larger plan to shut down the independent free press because the old dinosaur corporate media has been discredited. So that's what's happening. And if you've been watching Alex Jones for any length of time, you really know that this is kind of par for the course for him. Um, he always believes that people are trying to shut him down, that he's the only person who is speaking the truth. He says this on his show all of the time if you watch the clips. And, and he has a huge following. You need to keep that in mind. I mean, this is somebody who has a tremendous, tremendous following uh, out there in on the internet and you know just in the media space in general he's already been deplatformed from a number of social media sites including YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, you name it he's not on there. So we've told you in the past as we've covered defamation cases including the Alex Jones case in Texas that the first amendment does not cover lies that amount to defamation and Jones of course is a public figure. So the judge in this case found by default that Jones made the comments with a reckless disregard for the truth. And people know that Sandy Hook was real. I think we can all remember uh, watching the coverage of this event and uh, seeing that this happened. Um, the shooting was carried out by somebody who was a very disturbed young man who, in fact, even killed his own mother uh, before taking his own life. So um, it's a really, really terrible, terrible thing. And these families say they've been deeply hurt by Alex Jones's words. And he said for many years that he believed that this was staged. Uh, Alex Jones is expected to testify sometime later this week. And we're going to keep you posted on when that happens. We, of course, have been covering this trial gavel to gavel for you. You can watch it live on Law and Crimes YouTube channel. Uh, the uninterrupted feed is there. We, of course, have commentary on the network as well from experts and legal analysts. And uh, what's interesting about this is the fact that he just went through this other trial in Texas where we told you he, you know, the jury awarded millions and millions of dollars to these families. So it will be interesting to see what Alex Jones says when he gets up there, if it's consistent with his testimony uh, from the Texas trial or if there's more to it, more that comes out. We just don't know. But uh, we will keep you posted on when he takes the stand, um, when that happens sometime possibly later this week.
And that's it for this edition of Law and Crime Sidebar Podcast. It is produced by Michael Deininger and Sam Goldberg. Logan Harris is our video editor. Alyssa Fisher handles our bookings. Bobby Zoki is our YouTube manager. And Kira Bronson handles our social media. You can listen to Sidebar wherever you get your podcasts. That's Apple, Spotify, Google, and much more. And of course, you can always watch it on Law and Crime's YouTube channel. I'm Anjanette Levy, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.